In this video, we're going to talk about criminal domestic violence of a high and aggravated nature. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the elements of the crime, the penalties, um, and other issues and how we can help you out. Now, a person who violates section 162520A uh, is guilty of criminal domestic violence of a high and aggravated nature uh, when one of the following occurs. And that's if that person, one, commits an assault or battery which involves the use of a deadly weapon or results in serious bodily injury to the victim. Or two, they commit an assault um, w without an accompanying battery but which would reasonably cause a person to fear imminent serious bodily injury or death. Uh, a person who violates this subsection is guilty of a felony and upon conviction must be imprisoned not less than a mandatory minimum of one year uh, and no more than 10 years. Now the court may suspend the imposition or execution of all or part of the sentence except for that one year mandatory minimum sentence. And then they're gonna place the offender on probation conditioned upon the offender completing um, to the satisfaction of a court uh, what we normally refer to as the batterers program. And that's going to be offered through the local government agency or sometimes it's offered through a nonprofit or even a private provider as long as it's approved by the Department of Social Services, DSS. Uh, again, the offender is going to have to pay all the reasonable fees of participation in the program. Uh, and, but no person can be denied treatment for their inability to pay. Uh, the offender, uh, if they have to approve a substance abuse program, uh, sometimes the judge will refer that. Uh, may also refer the offender to supplemental treatment coordinated through uh, DSS or our Department of uh, Probation. Uh, but generally they work together uh, with those, uh, those agencies. Now the offender must pay a reasonable fee for participation if there is substance abuse treatment that has to go on. But again, no person may be denied treatment for their inability to pay. Um, now, this is a statutory offense of criminal domestic violence of high and aggravated nature, and it cannot be construed to codify any kind of common law crime of assault and battery of a high and aggravated nature. Uh, if you've been charged with this, this is very serious. Now, our defense lawyers here have lots of experience with CDV, assault, domestic violence. Give us a call. This is one of the most serious uh, domestic violence situations you can be charged with. Give us a call today. We'll sit down with you, tell you what we can do for you and how we can help. 843-839-4111.